Hey everybody, welcome to Clean Week. I'm super excited to get started with this challenge with you guys on Monday. And right now, I just wanted to briefly just go over the meal planner with you guys because I know that this is probably going to be the most work, I guess, um, that you need to do to set yourself up for success is creating your meal plan, creating your grocery list for the week, and then um, getting your meals prepped, okay? So I really want to make sure that you guys understand and um, feel confident in creating your meal plan and getting everything set up for success. So um, I wanted to do this video to just kind of walk you through the meal plan and everything. So let me share my screen here really quick. Now you guys should see in our Facebook page, we have the digital version of the meal planner already set up for you, okay? So, or upload it. So all you gotta do, you can decide to either download it. Um, here, let me go to our, our um, Facebook page. So if you go here and then click on files, on the left side um, and then scroll down you will see there is the meal planner my computer is just being a little bit slow here we go and then click on clean week meal planner okay and that is going to take you to right here okay so again it's pretty straightforward but I just want to make sure that everybody feels confident in getting their meal plan um, set up for the week okay so what I would really suggest is making sure that you read through this okay when I did my first program I read my um, nutrition plan like front to back like two or three times to be honest because it was kind of a lot of information but it, I went through read everything and I felt like I was able to kind of get my meal plan set up when I read through it all okay so don't just skim through like really read everything because all of this stuff is really going to help you with getting started so here are just like the steps right here obviously figure out your meal plan create your meal plan menu um, meal prep and then of course drinking your Shakeology okay so first off there are two different meal plans, plan A, plan B, and it depends on where your weight is right now. So if you're under 185 pounds, you'll be in plan A, and if you're over 185, you'll be in plan B. The only difference really is that plan B has an extra snack, okay? So figure out which plan you are in, and then that will help you determine how many meals that you're gonna have every day of clean week, okay? <clears throat> Now, there are seven recipes for each, um, <clears throat> each meal that you can choose from. So that's really great because there's tons of variety. And I know that maybe you're not super into certain ingredients or foods. This allows you to mix and match and pick which foods sound best to you, okay? So the next step that you want to do is come over here and pick out your recipes. Now, I recommend, honestly, if you want to keep it simple and easy for yourself when you're meal planning, to maybe pick just two or three recipes for each meal and then double up on those recipes or even triple up on them. So like it shows here in this example, right? It has the berry oatmeal Monday, uh, Friday, and Sunday, and then the protein pancakes on Wednesday and Saturday, and then the yogurt parfait Tuesday, Thursday, right? You could even just pick two and just alternate or whatever you want to do. Or if you want to do all seven different recipes, you could do that. But that's just a lot of grocery shopping. Um, but I recommend, you know, picking two or three recipes for each meal, okay? And you can choose from the list right here. So go through. Like maybe you're going to be done with the protein pancakes and you're not a big fan of oatmeal. That's fine. You know what I mean? That's why this is great is because you can really um, customize it to what you enjoy. So I would go through, circle, or highlight the um, – the meals from each or the recipes from each meal that you want to have okay for the week then once you have identified what all of your meals are going to be all you got to do is go in and plug them in here so start with breakfast maybe you decide okay i'm going to do megan's protein pancakes i'm going to do the almond butter banana breakfast and i'm going to do the yogurt parfait so then say okay what days do i want megan's protein pancakes maybe i'll do those on monday wednesday friday and then um, I'm going to do the almond butter banana breakfast on Tuesday and Saturday. And I'll do the um, yogurt parfait on Wednesday and Sunday, right? And then just go write that stuff in. Do the same thing for lunch, dinner, um, shake, shake, your Shakeology, and your snacks. Really easy, okay? So just start with one meal at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed. <clears throat> Sorry, gosh, I don't know what's wrong with my throat right now. <clears throat> but start with one meal at a time fill it in for the week and then move on to the next one. And then you're going to have your set meal plan for the week. Okay. So once you have all of your meals, then what you're going to want to do, um, right here, they give this little tip to, um, help you with creating your grocery list. So go through and see 
how many times are you going to have, for example, Megan's protein pancakes? If you're not, if you know you're going to have that for three days, then when you go down to the recipe for Megan's protein pancakes, you are just going to want to times all of these ingredients by three. Okay. So how many, however many times you're having each one times it by three, go through and see, okay, a lot of these things you might have at home, like ground cinnamon and, um, you know, baking powder, or nutmeg, you know, maybe you have a lot of this stuff, maple syrup, you already have it at home. But um, you'll be able to see how much you need of each ingredient um, and how much you need to get at the store, okay? So just take it one meal at a time. This is going to take some time, guys. Like, I'm going to be real. Um, it takes some time to meal plan. But the thing is, um, you will be completely set for the entire week, and it will be so easy for you to eat healthy throughout the week, okay? So like I said, just take one recipe at a time, see how many times you're going to have it throughout the week, and then just multiply all of the ingredients by three, and that, or however many times you're having it, and then you'll know how much to, um, that you need. Okay. And then what I would do is just write down, you know, the amount of everything that you need from the store. And honestly, if you want to keep it simple for yourself, maybe just pick two recipes or, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to pick a ton of recipes for the whole week. Just maybe pick one or two. And then next time that you do it, you can pick some different recipes with it. Right. But, um, but really that is how you're going to go through and create your meal plan. So then once you have your grocery list all set up for all of your meals, you just got to make sure to go grocery shopping. And what's really cool is for each recipe, they have some meal prep tips. So it shows you right here some tips. So for example, for Megan's protein pancakes, this is a great recipe to double up on. Make two batches so you have four breakfasts ready at your fingertips. You mix all the dry ingredients and store in a tightly sealed jar if you plan to make them during the week. Extra pancakes can be wrapped in aluminum foil, right? So each, each recipe has some tips to help you with prepping, okay? Um, and, and this is going to be really helpful as you guys are getting your meal prep done for the week, okay? So that is really just the overview of the meal planner. And I just wanted to make sure you guys kind of know the steps, know how to kind of put your meal plan together. And what I recommend is once you get your meal plan done, please post it here in the group. We really want to see what you guys are eating. If you need help, if you're like, I'm struggling, I don't know what to do, that's what we're here for. Please don't just sit at home and just be like, ah, I'm struggling, I'm overwhelmed, or whatever. Ask for help. That is why this challenge group is here. That is why we are coaches, so that we can provide support and help and accountability. Okay, so once you get your meal plan done, post it here in the group, and let's get set up for success for Clean Week. Okay, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and chat with y'all soon.